and this is actually Josephine's wonderful masquerade bodice replica. I love it. Shall I walk you through it? Yeah, please do. Well, what do we see? <clears throat> this was done in two, um, how shall I put it, in two versions. Uh huh. We did it in 1993. Yeah. The first version, which you can see, well, or you can't see it. <laughs> it's underneath here. I see. It was a pink poly thing. Mm hmm. Um, actually, I had a little bit more of a bluish tint to mine, and I think Gunilla. Um, my friend who I did it with, mm -hmm. I think she had a little bit more of a reddish tint to hers. I'm, I'm not sure we actually had the same. So different fabrics? Maybe. I'm, Maybe. I'm, I can't Maybe. exactly remember. I see. Uh, it was pink. Anyway. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, we were young and poor. <laughs> and pink. And pink. Young and poor, so we could not afford to buy loads of crystal beads. I see, but what did you do? Well, it was not, I mean, not only could we not afford it, <laughs> we couldn't find it. This, exactly, these were exactly. in the olden days, mm -hmm. 1993, it's like Stone Age, <laughs> uh, before the internet, before everything basically. So, well, we couldn't find anything uh, to suit, so we made them. But how? How did you? Well, them? we made them out of a hobby clay. And uh, oh. basically I spent the whole summer rolling and rolling and rolling these beads. How many are there in total? I think there are about 5,000. Oh, the bodies my and on the skirts. God. Yeah. Mm. And I painted them silver. So you put them you, on. You rolled them and yes. then you painted them and then well, I rolled them first, then into the oven with them uh -huh. and painted them, then put them on the dress. And they've been painted one more time since then. Okay. On the dress, it was a little bit nervous. Whoa, I um, can see that. Yeah. Was, was that the first or the second version? No, that was the second version. Okay. Because the first version, as I said, was all pink. Uh -huh. And then we had this on top here. Yeah. And we, ha uh, we had another fabric here and mm -hmm. another fabric here. Mm -hmm. It was sort of a, a little bit of strange color combination and I hadn't done it very well. It was a bit sloppy work. I to see. Be honest. And so now the second version. Then we wanted to have the. Um, you see that it's going from blue to pink. The shading. To, yeah, exactly the shading. Yeah, yeah. So how do it? We didn't want to get rid of all the beads because obviously we've done loads of work with them. Obviously. So we got all these bits of organza. Uh huh. Uh, lots and lots and lots of different colors of organza and then put lots of different ones on top of each other so all of these oh, are different yeah. different layers exactly to to create so that's how you get the, the shading look. exactly so i don't think any of these are the same as you can see and then wow. got rid of the sloppy work here <laughs> put some new stuff on For some odd reason i put all the spangles underneath here and it's slightly weird uh, we've also got some details here some some beads oh, yes. and the stars up here and it's actually also lined with the pink fabric yes it's lined inside the pink fabric that's classy yeah so that is obviously the, the bodies these are the sleeves oh the puffy puffy sleeves <laughs> the chili, though. <laughs> um, these have been changed too, of course. Only this one remains from um, the original. How did uh, the original look? Um, well, um, I had a more blue greenish um, fabric here, sort of a taffeta fabric, I think. Okay. And then I had another, I think it was a sort of a taffeta, but then I think I had another taffeta, though in a sort of different quality. I see. Um, underneath here, which was very blue, a bit darker than this, I think. I see. And I had a, a gold trim on the middle one, mm -hmm. and a silver trim on this one. Exactly. It's not, not that great trim, I think. And it was but not that many spangles, it, it didn't sparkle. These sparkle as, a lot. Yes, it should sparkle. It's so wonderful to see them in action. 
Yeah, masquerade after all. <laughs> so, change that. And the skirt. The skirt is um, also yeah. only the top layer is remaining of the skirt. I see. Obviously, we've done all of the beads and we've put them on. We did not want to redo it. So, the top layer of the skirt is still there, but the rest is, has changed. We've got oh, yes. um, um, a see through cotton here, mm -hmm. patterned cotton. I used to have a. Um, a silver fabric here, actually. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, and, and Gunilla had uh, some sort of white cotton, but not as see-through as this. And then um, we had actually just a blue um, till underskirt. Oh, yeah? So it was all blue, because we thought that it was blue, actually. Some of them are, and maybe they were. I think they were in the olden days in Stockholm. The underskirts were actually blue, and that's why we did it in yeah, the version. Yeah, the costume design actually specifies that uh, it should be go uh, from gradually pink to blue. All right. It, uh, so we, we've done it the other way around, as you can see. We've got the pink first, and then yeah, but that's how it's supposed to be done. The Nine look. Blue, oh, okay. blue on the inside, and, and the, the blue on the inside. Yeah, so but you you should have the uh, both colors uh, represented, and uh, not all costumes nowadays have that. All right. Actually, I kind of like this when you, you can see it through mm. there. It's not as you can't see it as much when when you've got both of them on, but you can you can see a tint of it. You yes. can, you can. It's a little bit. Uh, which year did you say you you made this? We made it in ninety three, and then I think and then we re remade it or redone it in uh, nine. Probably 94, 95. Exactly. The end of 94, beginning of 95, I think it was. But have you ever worn it in public? Oh yes, many times. This is actually, I think this is the dress I've worn most. Oh. Uh, so but, I've got lots of good memories in this one. But where? Where did you...? I've worn it in Stockholm uh -huh. and in Hamburg. Wonderful. And in Hamburg, of, of course, uh, we were backstage. And uh, we got uh, some, was one of the dressers who ran upstairs to get the real one because they wanted to compare them. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that's quite cool. Oh. So this is Josephine's masquerade dress.